a lot of people really liked the uh, Vista sidebar that came along with the system. The fact that you can personalize it to the way of your liking, for example, just change the clock to red so it matches my theme. It also came along with uh, the weather and the calendar. But also, if I want to add stuff, I just go to their official website and you know just browse around and look for what what I like best. So I'm just gonna just show you real quick something here. I'm gonna install and uh, for example this one right here. I read the description. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. Okay, just go ahead and click for the download. Download doesn't take at all long enough. Just a few seconds, and it's done. Go ahead and open it. Go for the installation. And there you go. It's right there on my sidebar. Now, most people don't actually have Vista. And although they've seen the, um, the sidebar, they really like it. And they would like to actually have that on their XP. Well, I'm going to show you that exactly. What is it? The official Vista sidebar here on Rio Tech. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install the uh, Windows uh, Vista sidebar onto your XP. And just to uh, show you real quick uh, the link that I will provide you uh, on the side, uh, it will take you directly to right here. And just go ahead and, and just click on download. And that'll do it automatically right there. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to go ahead and just click cancel. And I saved it to my desktop to demonstrate you guys how to, how to properly ins uh, install this. So I'm going to go ahead and extract that real quick. And once I'm actually done extracting that, we're going to go ahead and open the folder. And you'll see all this bunch of stuff that you'll see here. But we're going to use the readme file to understand how to do our step-by-step -step successfully everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, extract the uh, Rix uh, files. So, you will need a WinRAR to extract that, and I recommend you uh, getting this. I'll also provide the link as well. And uh, once you're done, uh, it'll also explain in the readme file to put it in a safe place. So, I'm going to go ahead and just save it right here into my uh, documents. And there you go. Now, just to show you real quick uh, everything that's inside here, we won't be touching much in here, so you don't have to worry about that much. Um, but yeah, we're going to wait to continue. Okay, so the next step is, uh, number two, is to install the Alki 1.1 program. And just go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go ahead and install it. You agree? And, uh, this is a product key. Yeah, you, you won't have to worry about that. That's already provided. So go ahead and just click on next again. And have that installed. Quick and, and easy. And that's it. You're done. And that is installed. Now the readme file did explain that we need to uh, go ahead and reboot the computer. So when I'm done rebooting, we'll go ahead and continue to the readme file. Okay, so we are back from the uh, restart of the computer, so we're going to go ahead and continue on uh, with the uh, steps that we were taking. So let's go ahead and head back to the uh, readme file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and step number three, and we're going to uh, install the MXM16 point uh, MSI and uh, Windows X XP KB. And then we're going to restart. So, first of all, we're going to go ahead and install this one right here. Click run. And it's just really, you know, quick and simple. Uh, no big here. XP, KB, and all those uh, funny numbers there. Go ahead. Now, if 
this or a marriage certificate comes out, uh, it's okay, you're fine. It just means that uh, you already have a higher version of uh, a file that's already in your computer. So, um, and that's it. So let's go ahead and restart the computer and uh, we'll do the final ones we have to do and that's it. And I'll be back in just a second after re rebooting. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish up our uh, last of this tutorial and let's go back to our readme file and see what we need to finish up with. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip number 4 and go directly to 5. And what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and highlight, because this is going to make, make it a lot more easier, highlight where it says uh, Reg SVR32. And go ahead and copy it. And we're going to go to uh, My Computer. Go to your local disk, which mine is D, but others are C. Go to uh, Windows, and left click and go, go ahead and click Search and go ahead and paste the uh, Reg CVR32. Now you should find more than one, so what we want is the execu executable one, which is the one that's System32, so go ahead and copy that one. Okay, do not cut it, otherwise um, this could really actually mess up your computer, so we want to leave that alone. Just make the copy, not cut. Okay, and then we're going to go to our Rix files, which is the one that on the before uh, step, and then go ahead and uh, paste the, the copy that we made. And now the executable is right there. And now we're going to finish everything off by installing, installing where it says sidebar. Go ahead and left click and click on install. Now it's going to ask you, um, do you want to install the um, Windows sidebar? Of course, we we'll, want we'll to finish this up. Okay, and this should take five minutes, but I edit this so we can get to the final steps. Okay, it says uh, congratulations, we've you know, installed it correctly, and then we just need to restart our computer. Okay, so we will be back and see um, the final results on how it looked. Hey guys, welcome back, and as you can see, we just finally installed the Vista sidebar. As you can see, I already totally customized the way I actually liked it. And um, just to show you real quick how to add things, just click on the plus there where it says gadgets, and uh, you should uh, get this right here. And you can pick all the um, gadgets you want to pick and add and put onto your uh, Vista sidebar. So, I mean, you can download from the official uh, website, which I will we'll provide as well, too. And uh, that's about it. You've just learned how to install the Vista sidebar onto your XP computer. Enjoy, guys.